What's good everybody, I'm back with another YouTube video and today I'm gonna teach you guys how to make your own templates. A lot of people have been asking me, how do you make templates for later? And I figured, you know what, I'll make a video on it and show you guys how to make it. If you guys stick around to the end and you want these templates, I'm gonna have a download link down below. I just figured I'd show you so that way you guys can make your own. So right now I have a template that I made. This is generally what my templates look like. I don't really have a lot, but when I do, I have, you know, just simple shit. Like for instance, this one I have, this is just halftime. This is only because I use halftime speed. Majority of times how I make my beats. And this is the template that's normally 95% of my final projects. I'll always have a master. I'll always have a, you know, EQ, whatever, 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 right? Now in this template, I have major scales, minor scales, harmonic minor scales, and Phrygian scales. Those are the most important scales that everybody uses. So I figured, you know, I might as well already have them and just link them to C. So that way you could just make your melodies and just drag them anywhere you want. And then you can just switch key like that. It's very time consuming when you have to go all the way over here to the actual helpers and then do it yourself like this. So I figured I have it already set up for you guys. So to do a quick rundown, these in the blue are the melodies. These are what you're going to be using to make your, you know, your first melody, your second melody, your third, and then whatever. I would put, I would label them as leads, pads, and whatever, but there's always different scenarios. So I figured melody one, two, three, and main would be a good start. They're already linked to the channels, so you don't have to do too much and worry about them too much. All you have to do is just replace them with a VST. Omnisphere, Nexus, whatever, you sample, and you're good. The next thing is like a synth bass. Generally what you want to do is you want to have your melodies up top and then go from your bass and then, you know, down to, you know, kicks, claps, hi-hats, percussions, and all that. You want to go from the main important to the least important. Percussion, you can take that out and it won't matter, but you can't take out a kick or you can't have, not that you can't, but you generally want to have the bass in there. So I have... 808's in there already, so. I have tons of 808's, uh, punchy snares, claps, you know, just go-to stuff for everybody. So that way, you know, you don't have to overthink these, you don't have to overdo it. And they're all linked to different channels. They're all linked to the mixer. Now the great thing about these is they're already cut to itself, so you don't have to do too much. And a nice little gem for everybody that, you know, replaces their sounds, but say they want to like fix it or whatever, is to go down here and then you can see one of the most recent sounds you clicked or you used. So say if you replace this kick, right? Say I go over and I find this kick right here and I don't want that. I can go back over here and click my previous kick that I already had linked to it. That's a super big lifesaver because a lot of times when we're scrolling through these sounds, we accidentally replace them. And then we gotta go through all our big folders just to try to look for our sounds. Um, on each one, you'll find you know various things. Like I already have the claps kind of mixed already. All you have to do is just take out, you know, well not really, all you have to do is just boost accordingly. I didn't wanna boost everything because I felt like there's different cases for everything. Snares as well. Uh, open hats already have everything cut. Perks already have everything cut. I have delays on crashes already set to the tempo. Um, I have a compressor and a kick. I mean, I have a compressor on the kick. So it'll go from this kick, this, you know, weak kick, to something like this. And all you got to do is just turn it down. Super simple. Uh, 808s too. 808s, I don't have nothing too crazy on them because there's... In this project, it's just really basic stuff. It's just a lot of EQs and just compressors or reverbs or delays on everything. You know, I have the mixers already linked to, so all you have to do is just go over here, right click, select link sound, and then just go over here and it's already bust to this reverb all the channels. So all you have to do is just turn this up. And if you want to do something cool, like have like a different kind of reverb sound, you know, then you'll just do this, put a low pass on it to give it more space, more air. On the master, I do have an EQ just to take out that super low, that sub that you don't really need too much of under 25, 30. Um, it varies, you know, 
um, a soft clipper, and I have directions right here for the master. Every FL Studio version has this stock. It's one of my main limiters that I go to, and it's this preset called uh, Mastering 2.4 dB. All you have to do is just click that and then just adjust you know to taste and then you know just turn it on i don't have our base on 808s or anything like that because i don't know if everybody has waves and you know sometimes that'll slow up everybody's computer so this is just the guideline so you can customize it any way you can put vsts i try not to put vsts because sometimes it'll be too much on my cpu or whatever if i have all these omnispheres and whatever whatever what you're going to do is go to the download link and download these templates. It's gonna come in two different ones for FL Studio 11 and FL Studio 20. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to highlight everything, go over here and make a folder. A template, right? So now that you got that, the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is open the raw file again, click this and extract. Now go to OS, and then go to program files 86 and then you're going to want to go to image line and once you go to image line go over here to fo20 or whichever version you have it'll be whichever one right then go to data go to templates and then you can create your own template so you can create your own folder um i'm just going to put in you know what i'll just make one new All right, so I'm gonna restart FL and watch. Okay, now that I have that, I'm going to templates and boom. There's my template right here. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention to you guys, gross speed is already on there on the melodies, um, all of that stuff. Anything that you want on there, it's, it's, already, it's already on there pretty much. So that's it, that's the YouTube video. Download link is in the description down below. I just put out a new drum kit. There's tons of sounds, tons of 808s, tons of punchy kicks, hi-hats, voxes, textures, all sorts of stuff, even loops. You can go crazy with this new kit. So the link for the drum kit is also gonna be in the description. So yeah, definitely go cop that. Tons of gems in there. This is probably my best drum kit ever. And personally, I think it's the best drum kit out. I put that on anything. So thank you guys for everything. I'll catch you in the next video. And it's not gonna be a month from now. Trust me, it's gonna be way sooner than you think.